Max. I'm a designer, developer, maker, and teacher from Melbourne, Australia, and I made Paint Game. I make small, open-ended games that focus on experience. These are games that try and let you play and engage in different modes of being and a different mindset. With that in mind, the game that I made is called Paint Game, as I've already said. It's an interactive coloring book that players can explore, walk around in, and paint on any surface. I wanted to make a game that captured the creative freedom we have as kids, where we aren't stuck trying to make good art or anything other than the simple joy of putting colors down and smushing them about. It's a game about making a mess and reveling in the mess that you've made. Paint Game allows you to cover the world in your art. Specifically, the mechanics don't allow you to paint cleanly within the lines. The actual brush, brush you're using doesn't cleanly work. So you're never going to be able to cleanly make pristine art. It just won't happen. So instead, you're encouraged to go outside of the lines, to paint what you want and to do it how you want. Because that's what the game wants you to do. That's what I, as the designer and the artist, want to encourage you to feel like to have that freedom that you can do what you want. The tools are deliberately bad. You can't repick colors. It's hard to find that exact hue that you were using that you really, really liked. To go back to colors, to paint everything in the same way, that there's meant to be mess and that there's meant to be looseness because that looseness is something that's really hard for us as adults or for adults to rediscover. And so in making a game this way, I wanted to force people into that mode of being, into that free-spirited, childlike wonder and joy of making art that is messy. When I released this game, when people played it, and when I showed it in at other exhibits, so one of the things that uh, people talked about a lot, or that uh, adults would talk to me about, was how uncomfortable they were not being able to make pristine art, not being able to paint within the lines, and not being able to sort of like make art that they thought was of the quality that they needed to. And that uncomfortableness was actually something I thought was really important. Because one of the things that I think holds us back, and one of the things that I think that I made this game to do, was to encourage us to sit in that uncomfortableness and ask why it is that we don't value that creative output for being just that, a creative output that quality becomes something that we start really focusing on and trying to capture. And that quality being uh, such a high bar to pass, especially as uh, adults, that we become so focused on it to the point where we stop thinking we can even make art, that we can even draw in this way. And so the game is designed for that. Something that I always think about is this, is that if I would were to ever host a competition with this game, it would be called the Family Fridge Competition. And the prize would be that your art goes up on the fridge and everyone would win because that's the point. It's not about making good art. It's about making art that will be celebrated for being art. I made Paint Game because I wanted to capture that feeling, that feeling of freedom, because as I got older, I found that I wanted to make art that was specifically good or specifically worthwhile, instead of just making art that existed because I enjoyed making it. To me, Paint Game is about trying to recapture that, both for myself and encouraging other people to get there. It's about making art that is a mess, because art can be and should be at times a mess. So to me, Paint Game means something very specific. It comes at a really important time for me as a designer and as a creative. It represented the end of, an, of what I thought of as kind of an era for myself. Before Paint Game, I was focused on making as many games as I could, learning how to finish and make art that could be considered done. This, doesn't, this meant that I wasn't focused on making what I thought was good art, but I was focused on just making things, on keeping my hands movie at moving and not stopping. Paint Game is the end of that process for me, the final game that came from that drive. After Paint Game came out and after I released it, and in the years intervening since it has been finished, I slowed down my work and tried to make cleaner and more polished art. Not that I didn't value the mess and the creative 
expression that came before that, but that I wanted to take all of that I all of what I'd learned from that messiness and refine it into an art style, into a creative output that I was really proud of. Paint Game represents an encapsulation of this era for me, of a time when I was more focused on just making, on running through that process, on keeping my hands moving, and on not stopping. That can be a really powerful creative drive. It can be a moment where you're making things and you're just pushing them out there and some of the most beautiful artwork can come from that. But it can also be a time in which you're moving too quickly. You're not stopping and smelling the roses. So looking back on Paint Game, for me, as the artist that made it, it represents the moment that I kind of stopped, took a deep breath, and said that now as a creator, I want to think, I want to slow down, and I want to try and make art that does something that says what I wanted to say, and that isn't just made because my hands wanted to do something. This is made because I have something I want to say, and that I believe that this is a good and powerful way to say it. Paint Game as such is important to me because it's a game that is about art, and is specifically is about messy, broken, and weird art that we should be proud of nonetheless. It's a game that is that reminds me to be really proud of the doodles that I do on the sides of pieces of paper. That makes that reminds me that it's okay to just kind of like color anything in. That not everything needs to be clean, precise, and boxed in. And that the kinds of things that we make and that we should be proud of aren't always going to be the exact winning products that we want. And instead we can make games that are a little bit weird and we can make art that is thoroughly messy. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.